You know a story is not good when you can't even finish reading it. That is the case of this lovely story that I'm going to be sharing with you all today. And you're probably wondering, well, how are you going to review the story if you haven't finished reading it? Well, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to read the first three chapters of the story out loud to you all. And then I will give you my thoughts on it afterwards. You're probably wondering why I'm only doing three chapters. Well, originally I was going to do 10 chapters because the story is 35 chapters in total. And it would have taken way too long. I then decided to try five chapters. And that was way too long. So I noticed during my most recent read through of trying to record this episode, because this is probably like the 10th time I've tried recording it. At like once when I was about to start chapter three, I was already 22 minutes in. Didn't want to do just two chapters, so I figured three should be a good cutting off point. And then if you all choose to read the story in its entirety afterwards, that's on you. Yes, I wouldn't recommend it though. This story, the reason why I couldn't finish reading it, it'll become quite apparent once when I start reading it out loud to you, but it's one of those stories where the spelling and grammar is just so atrocious, like so, so, so atrocious that after a while, it just kind of fumbles with your mind where you're just kind of staring at the screen and you're rereading the same thing over and over again, trying to make heads and tails on what's going on. And I feel like reading it out loud might help with that in a sense. And if not, it gives you an idea of how bad it is. So I'm probably going to regret this and I'm not going to make a habit of reading these stories out loud on the web show, but I figured this, this, with this type of story, I feel like I have no choice. If the story was a lot shorter, then I probably wouldn't have to, but because it's 35 chapters long, and not just, you know, it's not just 35 chapters, it's over 20,000 words. 20,000 words of atrocious grammar and spelling. Yes. So, yes. I think I only got like four chapters in when I first was trying to read it to myself. Right. Now, you probably noticed that my um, outfit got updated. You can thank Meg for that. It was a surprise gift that she got me this morning. You see, um, I probably mentioned in um, an earlier episode, this outfit is supposed to be, you know, Sweeney Todd's outfit. The costume, which I bought it online, for the most part was a nice costume. You know, the shirt's nice, the tie is nice, and even though I don't wear the pinstripe pants, those are pretty decent. My issue, though, with the outfit was that bloody vest. It was way too small and just very cheap quality. So Meg got me this. It's not quite the Sweeney Todd vest, but I'd say it looks like it. I mean, it's not quite the same, but it's the same style. You know, it's very nice, very nice quality. I'm not sure what this doohickey on the back is supposed to be for, but I believe Sweeney Todd had something like that on his vest. So, you know, I think it works and I think it looks nice. And even though I already thanked Meg in person, if she's watching this, I want to say again, thank you, dear. I really, really love it. Right. Enough about my outfit. Let's rip the bandaid off and get on with this lovely review. So if the title was grammatically correct, it would be called Super Smash Bros. Mission from God. Oh yes, it's one of those stories. But because the title is not grammatically correct, the title is Supper Smash Bros. Mission from God. So this is an archive of your own story. So the rating is T and up audiences, so pretty much rated to T. It has like a bunch of characters in it. I'm not going to read all that out loud. It was published back in 2013. It was completed back in 2013. In fact, it took this person only nine days to write this story. Gee, how surprising. And like I stated earlier, it's 20,035 words with 35 chapters, 430 comments, 466 kudos. Why? 25 bookmarks, which as soon as this episode is uploaded, that bookmark will be promptly deleted from my laptop. 
and it has 54,912 hits. That's interesting that Archive of Your Own does that for stats. The author is Princess America. What a conceited name that is, Princess America. Which is kind of ironic because the United States of America is not a monarchy, it's a democracy. Summary. Sarah was a normal girl until she went to Nintendo World to save. To save. To save what? Are you going to complete that sentence? No, I guess not. My first story plus revo. Barack Obama and the liberals on fanfiction.net deleted this, so I'm putting it here. Hi, my name is Sarah. Of course, it's a self-insert. Hi, my name is Sarah, not Palin, unfortunately. Why would you want to be Sarah Palin? She's a bloody idiot. And I'm a 13-year-old girl who loves America and gold and the Constitution, so I liberal socialists who like Barack Obama then leave now and go back to getting well welfare, I'm supposed to say welfare, for noting and trying to turn everyone, they literally wrote the word everyone with the word one being the number one. Wow. Into gay atheists, also I lick video games, mm, tasty, like Super Smash Bros. And otters, even though I'm a grill. My mom said I turn a less if I play video game, but I put pics of Jacob from Twilight and Justin Bebe from my room, so I don't. <sighs> Chapter 1, Mission Form God. Oh, you were so close to having it be correct. All you had to do was switch the R and the O. And again, Chap 1, Mission from God. Now, they misspelled Mission 2, but whatever. I was in my seance class one dat when my liberal teacher, Mr. Johnson, was talking about evolution. And tat is why humans come form monkeys and there is no God, he said. I raised my hand, period, D. Yes, Sarah, he said. If human came from monkeys, why are there still monks? Because there's different variations of different species. I mean, if you look at spiders, for example, not all spiders are the same. There's different versions of spiders. There's different families of spiders. There's also anarchids that are not that are not spiders, but they are related. Need I go on? And spiders are just one example. My teacher had no answer for that. So he gave me die tension and an F on my test. Ha 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 ha. He's sad. You Christians will be defeat one day. I notice the thing with a lot of these crazy Christian stories is that they act like the world's out to get them when it's quite the opposite. It feels like they're constantly going after people that aren't Christian. But that's just my experience from it. Atheists already rule this country because of Obama car. And son, all Christians will go to deaf panels. Just then, the door to tear science room opened and God walked in. He was wearing a rob and had a bread like he always does. Why does he have bread? I don't get it. Mr. Johnson, you're going to hell. No, cause you aren't real, Mr. Johnson said. Lol, you're a moron. Did they seriously put lol in this story? Like, OMG, that's so bad. Sorry, I couldn't resist. God said, and he stroked Mr. Johnson with lightning and Mr. Johnson dead. Yay, said all Christians in the class. So much for being pro-life. Boo, 
said the heat trans. So apparently she has a classroom full of heat trans from Pokemon. So God stroked all them too. Okay, now I need to talk to Sarah Gold said, so everybody else leave. Okay, my classmates left the room. Sarah Oswald, are you serious? You put your full name in your own story? I mean, she was supposedly 13 when she wrote this, but still, you don't, 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 don't. Do not put your full name inside of your... Moving on, moving on, moving on. Just, you know what, screw it. Moving on. Sarah Osborne, I've been watching you for some time. He said, this world isn't the only one I'm mad. For real, I ask. Yeah, do you know about video games? Yeah, I play them with my bro and Lauren. In parentheses, my bro is my brother. I never would have guessed that. I thought he was your cat. And Lauren is my BFF forever, and she's a PCC, pretty conservative Christian, like me too. Well, they are real because when you play the another universe I made. What type of explanation is that? Cool God, I high-fived God. Okay. But there's trouble. Say Satan found out about this, and now he's in Nintendo World. Only you can stop him before he does evil stuff there. Oh no. I love the enthusiasm with that oh no. Right. This is the hardest thing you ever done, even harder than your math test last month. God thing, I'm God, and I can give you cool powers and stuff. So God gave me some power, and I fell to sleep. When I woke up, I was outside of the Smosh Manshan. So that was the first chapter. So far in this story, um, this girl's in science class. She's being disrespectful to her teacher, but the teacher's kind of being disrespectful to her too. God shows up kills the teacher because he's not Christian and then kills all the non-Christian kids in the school because, you know, you know, thou shalt not kill apparently doesn't apply to him. And he pretty much tells her that video games are real and that she needs to go into the video game universe to stop Satan from taking over. I think. So, chapter two. Sarah meets characters. Summary. Sarah Goose to the Manshan and meets the Smash Brothers characters. Notes. First of all, what's a troll? I men, I think I fought some in a game before, but they're not in my story, so why did you mention them in the review? And what's a Mary Sue? And my mom and dad sad that I need to spread the truth of God's word on the intranet and speak out against socialists destroying America. Also, I didn't update it. Update it. Update it. Yesterday, because my family thought that there would be the raptor. Lawrence said there wouldn't, and she was right, so I guess that proves who smart she is. Chapter 2, Sarah Meets Characters The Smash Mash Manchian was a big hose with like a gatrillion romos and was a lot of stories tall. I was intimidated by who big it was. Oh no. Oh no. Stop that. Ah. Sorry, my eyes crossed over how stupid that was. Suddenly, someone came. It was like a robot, except a person was in it. Hi there, pretty girl, the robot person said. You think I'm pretty? I sailed. Yeah, 
You're the hottest girl I've ever shown. I've ever shown. I've ever shown. Ever shown. It's supposed to say ever seen. I thought it was Mr. Chef from Hello, but it wasn't. But I didn't know that, so I clodded my eyes and mad out with robot person. But when I open them, it's not Mr. Chef, but Samus Aaron. Ha 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 ha. I tricked you into thinking I was a dud, but I'm a girl, Samus said. Why do you do these? I like guys knit girls. I'm a Christian. I shoot it. You know, it is entirely possible to be Christian and still be in the LGBT community. Because I'm a lesbian, Samus said, and I'm a antithesis. So I want you to go to hell for being gay like me. Then Samus tried to wrap me. She took off, or it says took off, but it should say off, my shirt. I had my bra under so I wasn't tipless. And in my shirt, which had panties under it, so I still wasn't naked. So she wearing her underwear and her bra both on her chest. No help, I screamed. Look, Lily, Link and Math and Eichel were nearby, so they get horses and ran up and came before I was too late. Stop being a gay liberal, Samus, Ike said. Yeah, we're man and you're a woman, so listen to us, Link said. I love that they're already doing the sexist call. But I'm a lesbian, so I'm feminist and I'm not gonna listen to you, Samus said. She taped my shoes next. There were fancy high hells from Giuseppe Zanate that cast my mom $2,000. Why on earth would anyone spend $2,000 on a pair of shoes? Unless she isn't like stupid rich. But even then, they better be the best damn shoes ever. Like indestructible, gonna last you a lifetime. But had Moth graved Samus with his Hercule arms and throw her in Termut of the Manshan. What? I don't get it. Termut of the Manshan. What is the bloody moot? Is it supposed to be the roof? I don't get it. Are you okay? He asked. He kissed my hand romantically. Yeah, sorry I mad you do that. It's okay, Samus is a liberal, so she had it coming, March said. I looked into his eyes. He was like if the looks of Jacob and Justin Bieber were combined with the genus of, she of Sean Hainati. I probably said that wrong, sorry. And Ross Limbaugh. Expect he had blue hair. My hair was long and bland and really petty. You had liberals too, I asked. Yeah, me and Link and Ike are all born again Christians. Which does not make any sense because Link's religion would be, you know, the goddess of Hylia. Unless he converted to Christianity, I suppose. Moth said, Cool, can I meet everyone else? I said. Okay, so I climbed on Martha's horse and rode to the mansion and went inside. In the mansion, I met other Christians like Peach and Zelda and Tan Link and Pitt 
and Nass and Lucas and Kirby and King Dee Dee and the Mario Bros, Mary and Lugia and Sonic and Sold Snape, who was Martha's father in parentheses. I don't think he was Martha's father in the, the game, but wouldn't be wouldn't it be cool if he was? And Cloud Strife and the real Master Chef, those two weren't in Smash Bros for some reason, but they're in this. I love how this person is like allergic to commas. But there were also liberals like like Bowser and Ganondorf and Wario and Donkey Kong and Diddy and Metal Knight and Pikachu and Pac-Man Trainer and the other Pac-Mans and Wolf and Fox and Falcon and learn how to use bloody commas! My god, this is so ridiculous! And, 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 stop! Use a comma. Use commas. Please, please, please use commas. And Captain Falco, who was Samus' boyfriend before they both turned gay from a government vaccine. I knew I had my work cut out for me. Two chapters down, one more to go. Chapter three. He finally smash. Summary. Sarah's first battle of her smash career with an unexpected twist. Stop it ticking my story. God will judge you if you die, and if you insult Christians, tin, he will send you to hell. And thanks to the people who said nice things, I know you will go to heaven, haven. Also, I know that Samus is a lesbian. They actually spelled, no, 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 they still spelled it wrong. Because when I first played, I only saw her in armor. So I thought she was a hot guy. But then I used her final smash and found out that she was a girl. That doesn't mean she's a lesbian. So are you trying to say that if a woman wears masculine clothing or wears armor, that automatically makes her a lesbian? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oops. No, stop. I did not mean to click on that. I had to star at my picks off Justin Beba and Jane Cobb for even longer than I usually do when Lauren comes over to keep to kept me straight. So what exactly does your friend do to make you stay straight? And if you're constantly questioning your sexuality, maybe you aren't as straight as you think you are. It might take a while. It might take a while to figure out that you're not exactly straight. And if that is the case, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's just read this final chapter that I'm going to read to you all. Chap 3, he final smash. The next day, I was in my first match of my career. It was me and Zelda fitting Bowser and Falcor. I didn't know that Falcor was part of this, you know, from the never-ending story, which is what the story is feeling like at this moment. And I'm only doing three chapters of it. We were the Rad Temp. Because we're conservatives and they were the blue tem because they were liberals. I was wearing a pretty red dress that everyone expect the liberals complimented me on. Why would you be wearing a dress if you're going to be fighting? That doesn't seem very practical. Boozer keep breathing first at us, and Falco shat lasers from form his gum. Zelda turned into Shrek. She turned into Shrek. Okay. And threw and throw needs at Boozer and hit him with a chan. 
Son Bauza was the fet. Ten Falco get a smash bell. And this is the part where my mind just turned into mush when I was trying to read this in my mind. And so mund a Gina tank call a landmaster and shat Zelda. So she flied off and loosed. I thought I was donned, but hen, I heard God's voice. Sarah, remember the powers I gave you at school. I used one of, I used on of, supposed to say one of, the powers that God gave me, and I insanely had my final smash. I activated it, and it cussed me to turn into an angle. So, which type of angle did you turn into an obtuse one, a right one, or an acute one? I think you meant to say angel. I used my holly powers to stroke down the Lendmaster and defeat Falco. This gam's whiner, Rad Tima, the narrator said, when I laughed the fit mart he was waiting for me. OMG, that was Amazon. I never seen someone us a final smash without a smash ball before, he said. It's because of the powers gold gave me. Cool, now me and my dad are fighting Samus and Wario. Great, it'll watch, I said. So Tiga next fit began and Moth and Snake are the red team and Samus and Warop were the blue team. Wow, they actually spelled blue team right. Samus saw I was watch washing, so she tried to deduce me with her luscious lips and huge breasts, but I was straight so it didn't work, and Mark hit her with his sword while she was distracted, and his dad threw gonads at her. She got blowed up in lots a stack. Samus, get your head in the game. President Brock Obana would want us to kill all Christians, said Wario. Isn't Barack Obama a Christian himself? Shows how much the author knows. Right, Samus said. She attacked Moth and Snake. So everybody only had one stack left. What rain toads snack and hit him with a motorcycle? He flowed off and explode. Father, no, Matt said. He ran at war. Wario with his saw. Ate him. Samus is sad. I can't, um, a liberal vogon now, so I can only eat Vegeta's. Wario said. So Wario was loose. It was on and on fit between Samus and Moth. Give it up, Samus. You know liberals can't won. Never, by the power of Lord Santa, I shall banish you to Subspa's world. Then a porthole opened and sucked. Math into Sir Subspa's. The fight was over. The liberals had won. What did you do to my son? Snake said when the match was over and Moth didn't come back. I'll never tell, Samus said. She blowed me a kiss, which I dogged, and waked away. I was worried when Moth didn't come back. He still wasn't back for the tea party relay, so I went with Cloud Strife instead. When I went to sleep at night, I prayed for Moth. Then I lacked the windows and door so Samus couldn't wrap me while I slept. That night, I had horrible nitmas that math was first to have gay sacks 
with Satan and Barack Obama. It was the scariest thing ever. And thank bloody God I am done reading that because that was so bad. That was literally the part that my mind started to turn into mush. And see, three chapters in, and this episode's going to be over half an hour long. That's why I'm not doing any more. So, I think it's safe to say, or I hope it's safe to say that this is a troll fanfic. It has to be a troll fanfic. It really has to be a troll fanfic. I still think this person's political and religious views might be legit, though. It, it, it heavily reminded me of I Kill Fargets, of that charming author. It heavily reminded me of that. It, it, it's just so, so painful to read, like, you know, trying to read it in your mind. I felt I just kept on rereading stuff over and over again because I was trying to make heads and tails of what was going on. And I felt like this chapter was like the worst of the bunch. And it was during this chapter that I'm like, you know what? I can't. I just, I seriously can't. So spelling and grammar obviously was super, 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 super atrocious. Like they don't believe in commas. They don't know where to put the parentheses. They like to, oh no, the quotation marks. They don't like, they don't know where to put the quotation marks. They just keep on putting in little self incident author's notes, which is really obnoxious. Um, the only good thing going about the grammar in this is, you know, the fact that it's not a huge blob of text, which that's probably like the only saving grace. Um, all of the characters are out of character. And half the time you don't know which character is what because they don't spell any of the names right. Now, uh, I would not recommend this story. Even if you just want to read a bad story, I, I would not recommend this because it, it, it just gives you a headache. It seriously, seriously, seriously gives you a headache. And I tried recording this episode like 10 times now, and I'm just to a point that my brain is just pure mush. Uh, would not recommend it. I mean, if you want to continue reading it, the link will be in the description below, but I wouldn't recommend it. I, I would say take a break. Take, take like little breaks. Just take little breaks from it, and maybe you can get through it. But I honestly couldn't. I honestly couldn't. Again, I do apologize, but I just, I just couldn't. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't. Well, thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, please leave a like and leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all next week. Until then, cheerio.